The other day, Dak Prescott was talking about wide receivers, and Dak Prescott said that number one wide receivers are not important. In fact, I'll read you the quote. Here's a quote that Dak Prescott said. Dak Prescott said this, I don't know if any team needs a number one wide receiver. It's about getting the ball out, spreading the ball around, and keeping the defense on its toes. That's what Dak Prescott said the other day. And I, I think I agree with this for the most part. Not entirely. I think, I think, you know, if you have Michael Irving or Jerry Rice, that's not my argument. I'm not going to say, hey, uh, don't take a great wide receiver. That's stupid. That's not my argument. Please don't take it there. I think there are going to be people that watch this or listen to this and don't quite understand my point. My point is 100% not to say if you can have Jerry Rice or Michael Irving or even Julio Jones, that's not a bad thing. Take them 100%. They're great wide receivers. But I will say this. There are two reasons why I agree with Dak Prescott. At least not having a number one wide receiver could be good for Dak Prescott. First of all, I think wide receivers are somewhat overvalued. So look around. Randy Moss, Larry Fitzgerald, Terrell Owens, Calvin Johnson, Andre Johnson, Chad Ochocinco, even Julio Jones. I mean, his career is not over, but those great wide receivers I just listed, none of them have a Super Bowl ring. So I I think, first of all, number one wide receivers are somewhat overrated because they don't necessarily win games. Ocho Cinco never won a Super Bowl. Terrell Owens never won a Super Bowl. Having a great wide receiver does not mean you're going to win a Super Bowl. And everyone will hate that argument, but I think it still is somewhat true. It still matters. Wide receivers are somewhat overrated. But here's the reason, the real reason why I think Dak Prescott is right. Here's the biggest reason why Dak Prescott may be right that not every team needs a number one wide receiver. The fear is that you will become too dependent on one person. You do not want to become too dependent on one person. First of all, if they don't show up, you're screwed. Like if I if I need that's why some of my relationships often are so bad, actually. My last relationship was incredibly codependent. And the minute I lost her, my life fell apart because I was so dependent on her for happiness that without her, I couldn't make it. So you never want to be too dependent on one person. But the other problem is this. Having a number one wide receiver comes with expectations. You have to throw Dez the ball a certain number of times to keep Dez Bryant happy. Now, not all receivers. I, don't, I do not believe Julio Jones is this way. But yeah, receivers want their touches, especially, quote unquote, the number one wide receiver. I'm not saying wide receivers aren't amazing. I'm not saying, hey, if you can have Jerry Rice, Michael Irving, even Julio Jones, they're great. A number one receiver is is fantastic. You want that. But I do believe Dak Prescott, maybe more than other receivers, I don't know that Dak Prescott made a generalized statement. Dak Prescott said, I don't think any team needs a number one wide receiver. I don't believe that's true. But I do believe Dak Prescott may be better off without Des Bryant. Dak Prescott may be better off without a number one wide receiver. See, when you decide where to throw a football, you want the defense to dictate where you throw the ball. I'm looking downfield. I read the defense. Oh, okay. Cole Beasley's wide open. I'll throw to Cole Beasley. Your thought process should not be, hmm, Cole Beasley's open, but I haven't thrown Des Bryant the ball in in nine throws. I better get him a pass. That's not what you want. Or even pre-snap. Um, I I could see Cole Beasley might be open, but I'm going to take a look at Des Bryant because I got to give Des Bryant the football. That is the fear. See, number one wide receivers can throw off your thought process if you're trying to get them the ball all the time. Or another problem is this. It's third and three or third and seven. And uh, Julio Jones is my guy. Then you predetermine, I'm going to throw the ball to Julio Jones rather than read the defense and take what the defense gives you. See, my whole argument is this. Sometimes having a number one wide receiver can actually overcomplicate things. I never had a number one wide receiver in high school or in college, and actually it was great. It was freeing because I could throw to the guy who was open rather than, oh, I got to get the ball to Jeremiah or I got to get the ball to Marcus or I got to get the ball to Dez. There never was that. It was actually always who's open based on what the defense is giving me, who is actually open. And I do believe this will work in Dak Prescott's favor. Not having Dez Bryant is good for Dak Prescott. He will improve because he doesn't have that number one wide receiver, that expectation. I got to throw the ball to Dez. Third and three, I got to give the ball to Dez Bryant. Again, I would take Antonio Brown. I would take Julio Jones. I would take Michael Irving. I would take Jerry Rice. That is not my argument here. 
what I am saying is I think Dak Prescott is better off without Des Bryant because the expectations, the predetermined, trying to get in the ball, everything. I think Dak, Des Bryant was bad for Dak Prescott, and I do believe Dak Prescott will take a step forward without him. Thank you for watching this video. Remember, if you like it, you can subscribe to Strong Opinion Sports on iTunes, on SoundCloud, and on YouTube. You can find the full entire hour-long podcast on YouTube. And if you really like this podcast, help me grow Strong Opinion Sports by telling your friends about the show on Facebook, on Twitter, whatever it is. Help me grow Strong Opinion Sports by telling your friends about this show.